After the exciting unboxing of our Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, the next big thing is how do you move everything in your old Android phone to the new S24 Ultra in one click? Uh, well, uh, Apple have a way of doing this with one click and you just move everything to a new phone. But let's see whether Android has come of age. Android has its own native switching app. Samsung have Smart Switch. But since we're moving from an old S8 to the new S24 Ultra, we're going to use Samsung Smart Switch. Of course, you have to install it in the older phone if you're going to use Samsung Smart Switch. And it's so easy to install because the phone will detect there's a Samsung device that wants to switch. Once that, continue, give the Samsung Switch all the permission and then uh, it will now be ready for you to install. One of the things you're going to be looking out for is whether this thing will transfer all my WhatsApp data and everything to the new phone. But we're going to send from here because this is the old phone where we have all our stuff. I would like to use the cable here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> USB-C cable. I'm going to connect it, the S8, old S8 to the new S24 Ultra. And then it detected there is connection uh, transferring data. The bigger phone is charging the smaller one. So the way it works is that the one where you connect last will be the one that will be charging the one that had the wire in it. So I'm going to select cable here and then let's see, smart switch will give me a permission to, you know, transfer data and that's it. <laughs> the data transfer has started. So this is easy. Many people who are using Android phone don't know that you can easily do that. But let's see the quality and everything that will be transferred at the end of the day. So for Samsung smart switch, it will give you option of the things you want to copy. This is similar to the Android native own. It will give you option what you want to copy. I don't want to copy everything. I want to copy all my apps. I want to copy settings and um, maybe a few things. That's all. I have a lot of apps here, over uh, 130 apps on the Samsung uh, S8. So I'm going to copy my SMS uh, back history to everything and then I will start the transferring. <laughs> it's just that easy. So remind you, I'm always watching out that about the uh, transfer of my WhatsApp and whether my apps will all sign in and whether my Google accounts will all sign in. So yes, it has now popped out a Google account and I'm going to like um, uh, select the Google account that uh, I'm going to use for the signing. So yes, the transferring has actually started and now I can actually put in some passwords and all that, you know, Google, all those, hey Google, all this Google stuff. I'm going to skip it for now because I am really, really curious to see how this transfer will go and everything that will be copied and that. Okay, ah, uh, come on. Here we come again now. Because I'm using a Samsung phone, I'm going to sign in with my Samsung account. So, um, let's do that. Oh, come on. Recommended apps. Well, we are all set. Skipped all that. Yali, yali. And we want to see how the this go. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do is to see uh, the cable is connected. They say, oh, don't let me go and look for my apps. Oh, that's not the way to go. What? Where the heck are all the apps that are supposed to transfer? The transfer said done. And this is where many people could panic. But the way this thing works is that there are things that is going on in the background. So all those apps will transfer the account and also start moving up on the background. And then start, it, it does that in a compressed form and then you start expanding it. So you see all the number of apps you know, on the S8, the old S8. And we can see <laughs> that number of apps on the S24 Ultra. But let's move on. I want to first of all check the Google uh, accounts because this is the first thing that will show me whether my accounts were signed in and I can only see at the up top there a uh, smart deport <laughs> Gmail. So yeah, my account signed in. This is one of the most difficult things I always want to do because yeah, other, other Gmail accounts I'm managing are also moved. I have a lot of accounts I manage. <laughs> so I'll move it out and then I will now show you what happened so this is the data transfer menu this is the s24 ultra the data transfer is there it will show you the details i want to go in and see all the details of the apps that was transferred think about 106 apps were transferred from the old phone and uh oh come on samsung sync no so let's see um what's going on here so you remember when i told you that all the apps here didn't come up uh, in the s24 uh, ultra <laughs> that's because they're not ready yet so right now i'm going to show you after the whole thing has finished compressing and you know putting everything now i have all my apps right here on the s24 ultra so the next thing i'm going to do is to try to put in the uh 
apps to see whether they are all signed into no come on i think android is of age to do that i tried another app and most other user app apart from the google we are signed in so it means that iphone is still ahead when it comes to moving everything from an old phone to a new phone but i think android is beginning to at least give us a future where it becomes easy Neither the Samsung Smart Switch or the Android native phone transfer was able to move WhatsApp data from one device to other. <laughs> so I'll have to make a new video about that. Make sure you subscribe and you see that video when I'll move the WhatsApp in this old S8 to S24 Ultra manually or through online. I'll do it two formats, so don't miss that video. Make sure you click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell icon to get videos like this when we are publish it. And until I see you in the next one, it is peace. Subscribe. I'll see you.